such an idiot. I washed my shoes last week and put them in the dryer, which you're not supposed to do, but I was really impatient. And now look, my toe. <laughs> my toe is literally squished in there. I'm probably still gonna wear them, see if I can like stretch them out, but like I feel like I'm wearing a kid's shoe. <laughs> guys happy saturday so i'm actually starting my day an hour later than anticipated set my alarm for six i ended up snoozing it until seven which is actually really unlike me usually i'm pretty good at getting up but i think it's because number one it's saturday and i have like that subconscious weekend excuse number two i'm not training with anyone like i usually train with tanika or i go to like a pilates class so like you have to get to the gym when you said you are far out look how close i am to the wall i can't wait to move into a house and have a garage and have a driveway like oh my goodness so what's the time now it's like eight not that i really have a schedule today but my plan in my head i'm an hour behind schedule so i've got my coffee and i'm just deciding do i go to the new house and train in our garage slash the pilates room which i love because it's still a construction site there's like material in there or it's really dusty and dirty but i like being alone especially when i'm vlogging like i don't know i'm going through this weird phase of like feeling weird vlogging in public which is really weird for me because i've been on youtube for seven years i never normally care but do you know what i think it's social distancing like since i was training here in this garage like in our apartment i'm like not used to filming in a gym anymore i'm used to like filming myself because i'm so into home workouts but anyway i think i actually am gonna go to the gym gym and use like what is my coffee leaking i'm wearing white this can't happen i think we're okay I think we're okay. I'm gonna go to the real gym and just like use some of the equipment there. I'm gonna do a full body workout. So, <laughs> you're kidding me. You're kidding. This, ha this has to stop, surely. How many more people? <gasps> How many more people can fit into this gym? Okay, I thought I was coming at a good time because I'm pretty sure there's a gym class at nine. So I was like, cool, I'll get here at eight and I'll pretty much have the gym to myself. Lol, jokes on me because I literally saw like maybe a hundred as a stretch, but like 70 people do this big block run with our gym's logo on it, run back into the gym. Which, that's fine. But I'm really going to have to embrace 2015 Sezi and just go hard and do my workout and film it for you guys. A few minutes later. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I went in there. It was packed. Like, I mean, not even to the point that it's like, oh, a bit awkward to film. To the point that there was like no room. Like, absolutely no room. They're doing like a 12-week challenge, so it's packed. Like, So, I called Kurt. He's not waiting on me, but like, I work out in the morning and then we like go and do stuff for the day. So, I called him. I was like, do you care if I drive to the house now? Because like, I can't do anything. So, he's like, no, whatever. Like, him and Fox are just watching the wiggles. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to get a good workout in by myself in my own space so there's obviously still a lot to do to the house but this room the pilates room is pretty much finished so the last time you guys saw this it didn't have the huge mirror like these are two panels of the biggest mirrors i've ever seen and it just makes the space look so much bigger so all you need is any kind of ball this is a pilates ball but if you just have one at home that's like a little bit squishy or you can reduce some of the air in that it's gonna work it's not essential you can still do this workout without the ball but It'll just make it a little bit harder. And I've got a booty band here just in case, but I don't know if I'm gonna use it. So all you're gonna do is get a timer. I'm gonna use my SESI timer and do the 10 minute blaster. And we're gonna do a 10 minute warm up. I like to warm up with my body weight only. I can't just go into a workout and grab a bar or grab dumbbells. Like I like to ease into it. We're gonna do 10 different exercises for a minute each. Let's get warm. So exercise one is going to be a sumo squat with a releve on the top. A releve is when you go up onto your tippy toes. And when you do reach the top, I want you to draw your kneecaps up your legs. So you're really contracting the quad. And make sure down the bottom as well, you're activating your glutes. Squeezing your glutes at the top of each releve. Exercise two, we're just going to stay down the bottom. 
and do some pulses. With the pulse, make sure again, it's mind-muscle connection. So think about your glutes and just turn on every single little muscle in your hamstrings, in your glutes, and tense as hard as you can. Exercise three, you don't need a ball at all. I just like to hold on to it. But we're doing a lunge, sumo squat, lunge. So I'm not moving, it's just my feet pivoting. And make sure your pelvis is tucked under. So you don't want to be doing squats like this. You want to tilt the pelvis so when you're doing your lunge, your back leg is at a 90 degree angle. So make sure you're tilting pelvis forward. One minute. Exercise four, again, you don't need the ball if you don't want to. So this is going to light up your whole core, your obliques, but also the back of the legs. So you're doing opposite leg and opposite arm back. 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds the other side. Exercise five is another 30 30 split, so 30 seconds on one leg, 30 seconds on the other. You're going to put the ball behind the kneecap, bring the leg up into a straight line with the body, and pulse. This is going to light up your hamstrings. Exercise six, roll over onto your back. I'm going to put the ball in between my legs and squeeze it as they pulse up. Up, you can go and relevate if you want to make it a little bit harder. Exercise seven, grab the ball. We're doing bicycles with thread throughs. So threading your hands through, if you don't have a ball, you can just do this, do that action, but make sure your shoulder blades are off the floor. Exercise eight, we're turning over into a plank, and I'm only going to do five on each side because they are pretty intense. You go into a high plank. Lift your right leg, bring the knee all the way up to your elbow, slide it down the arm, and explode up. I got this one from my Pilates instructor, and it's brutal. Second last exercise, we're just gonna do some tricep push-ups. I'm gonna do them on my knees, because it is a minute. I can do them on my toes, but I wouldn't smash these out in proper form for a whole minute. The aim of this 10 minute burner is just to warm the body up. You don't want to go to your absolute max. And then for the final minute, I'm going to do a dynamic stretch, which basically means you're moving and stretching. So you're not holding a stretch, you're breathing through each stretch. So I usually like to do a movement per breath. So breathe in, out, relevate, come all the way to a plank, breathe in, out, Chaturanga, and up. So do whatever your body needs, whether your legs are tight or your back is tight. Just move for this minute and get ready for the actual workout. Honestly, that's all I need. I need a good warm up to get me in the mood and I've just mentally thought of the best workout. I'm in the garage now because I'm gonna have to run back and forth from this circuit, but here's basically how it's gonna work. It's a SESI pyramid where you start from the bottom and work your way up. It's gonna be three rounds. So you're gonna start with, I know, don't cringe, but it's gonna be a good one and you can do it from home, I swear. Just like be optimistic, be open-minded and give it a go. And if you do, tag me on Instagram or wherever, hashtag SESI pyramid workout. The first circuit is the hardest and it gets easier and easier so keep that in mind if you're dying it does get easier so you're gonna start with a one kilometer run you can just use a regular timer but again I'm using the SESI timer app you just go to AMRAP click seven minutes and then start so I haven't planned what exercises I'll do in that seven minutes I'll just listen to my body but I'll film it all and put it on the screen so if you want to copy exactly what I'm doing you can but it'll just be all body weight stuff like lunges push-ups abs I'm loving core right now this is gonna be really challenging for me because I haven't been doing much cardio honestly my body has been changing so much just from Pilates and like dynamic flexibility movements I'll give you a full body update when we finish this workout but yeah you're gonna do one kilometer run seven minute AMRAP then you're gonna do a 600 meter run seven minute AMRAP and 400 meter run seven minute AMRAP let's kick it off with my one kilometer run running is not my forte so even like a 200 meter run I'm dead Seven minute AMRAP, let's do it. With this one, make sure you're really twisting all the way to activate your obliques. 
if you're just doing this, it's not really gonna do anything. So make sure you're in a deep sumo squat, twisting all the way so the elbow hits the knee and it's gonna activate and burn your whole core. Workout. I know you haven't done it yet because you just watched it, but I expect that you do it this week. That was such a good one. It's so echoey in here. I'm seriously gonna have to put a rug or something under my reformer because apologies for the echo, it's so bad. I feel like I haven't done a proper body update, like that kind of body update since I gave birth and I need to start doing more of them because I know you guys love them so much. Also, when I was packing up the gym, I got all black stuff on my shirt. <laughs> also, I'm wearing the soldier crop, the soldier leggings, and the I'm Seamless top, which all restocks in October. So here's a little body update for you. I feel like my abs have made a big comeback lately. Honestly, it's all like this kind of ab stabilization stuff and body weight exercises. I've been training consistently, but like I used to train so intense, like the ski erg and burpees all the time. And like, I don't know, my workouts have been a lot more like dynamic and slow for me right now and my hormones and my body, it's responding really well and it's definitely working. So that's a little ab progress, it's a little booty. If you haven't been able to tell from my Insta stories, I'm loving Pilates and just like slow controlled movements. And I just love my body so much more since giving birth. I just like, I honestly work out for the mental benefits and like feeling positive and feeling fresh and feeling energetic and feeling confident in my own skin is just like a bonus in the whole process. So now I think I'm just gonna have a little play on the reformer while I wait for Kurt because he's gonna come with Foxy. Him and Fox have just spent the morning together, so he's gonna come here, tag team with me. He's gonna train downstairs. I'm gonna take Foxy to the park. My sister might join me. Hello. Hey, buddy. Can you say hello? Oh, oh, oh. Are you busy? Busy, busy, busy. You guys, behind you is pretty much a finished white kitchen, but I don't wanna show you here because you have to wait for the Renault series. The next Renault episode is gonna be one of the last before like the reveal, but I can't wait. I can't wait to live here. It's so close now. So, my birthday. My birthday is in two weeks, and I said all I want for my birthday is to have dinner here. <laughs> Sarah's putting the pressure on me. You, oh, yeah. you said yes, though. Yeah, I did say yes. I think we can. It's a lot. But my gotta, thing is... No, I'm, I'm most nervous about moving. I think the house, the house is going to be done really? by basically Monday. All I want to know is, am I making a dinner reservation for my own birthday? No, you're not making anything. You just, you just, you just put your hands in the air. It's your birthday. You just get to, you know... Do whatever you like, you chill out, mate. I wanna have a barbecue here. Yeah, I reckon that's possible. I get to make packing vlogs. I love watching mm. packing, anything organization, I love watching it. Fox, are you excited to live here? I swear he's happier here. Yeah, look at him with his little, what are you doing? <laughs> he's definitely happier. This is your baby room. He's just measuring out the floor for the carpet, yeah, eh? Yeah, I think he'll be in this room. I don't want him to be upstairs. Like I can't, I don't think I'll be able to sleep not being able to hear him, you know? You could always do baby monitors and stuff oh, like that. Oh, he's too little. <laughs> Who do you like better, mummy or daddy? Mama. Yeah, come to daddy, that's it, that's the, yeah, the boys. Nah, he won't. You're okay, mum, that's it, you're okay. Give mum a cuddle, give mum a cuddle, give mum a cuddle, give mum a cuddle. Give mum a cuddle and a kiss. Oh, that is lovely. Did daddy have a kiss? Oh, that's so <laughs> <funny. laughs> And then one for daddy. <laughs> and then one for mummy. Oh, it turns into a game. <laughs> my best life I love you so much he's getting so much more affectionate with age like when he was a newborn he like didn't want to be held didn't want to be cuddled didn't want any affection and now he's 16 months and he's so isn't he so cuddly? yeah he's so cuddly now you actually love me now but more importantly he's got a new nickname and it's Spilzy isn't it we call him Spilzy because every time he has a cup in his hands he falls over and spills it everywhere <laughs> Yeah, 
is napping I'm all showered but I didn't do my skincare routine because I know that you guys love to see it if you're relatively new to my channel then you might not know the whole reason I started a YouTube channel is because of my skin. In 2013, I started my channel. It was all about healing my acne. I was documenting the process of clearing my skin, balancing out my hormones and all that good stuff. These days, to have skin like this, it's like literally everything I prayed for and everything I worked so hard for because my skin was my, by far, by far my biggest insecurity. P.S. Sorry, the sun is about to go behind a cloud. So it's gonna get a little dark for a second. Let me preface also that healing my hormonal acne wasn't topical. It was a bunch of different things. Chinese herbs, diet, lifestyle, stress, um, supplementation, topical things. Like it was a combination of everything. I'm so sorry about the changing lighting. I know it's probably so annoying to watch, but like I can't control the sun. Cue the sun to go behind the cloud. That's just great. Thank you. You're not missing much. I'm just putting some warm water on my face. Since the last skincare routine I filmed, there's like a few minor changes, but the OG is still here, the Bohemian Skin Gel Cleanser. I love this. This is like my seventh bottle or something. If you want to take a screenshot of the ingredients, it's just there. I don't know. I always like to read the ingredients of things before I put it on my skin because I'm super sensitive and it doesn't leave me feeling like too dry or oily. It's just like a good in-between. I'm going to rinse that off. Now here's a new step. I'm roughly washing that off like it doesn't matter if there's a little bit left because we have another step with a wet face. This is new and I love it. I've been using it like three times a week for two weeks now. It just makes my skin look a little bit brighter and I actually think it's reducing my breakouts. So again, same brand, you guys know I love them. It is the AHA Enzyme Exfoliant. Here's the ingredients if you want to screenshot it, but it says it reveals a soft, bright and even radiant complexion. Fruit enzymes and lactic acid to detoxify the skin. Anyway, I thought it was going to be more of a like exfoliant. So it's like that. Here's the thing. If I use an exfoliant that's too abrasive, like too scratchy on my skin, even though I feel like it's doing a good job, like don't lie to yourself. As if you don't love the exfoliators that are like, you can feel the pieces of sand like getting into your pores. As much as I love the feeling of that, my skin doesn't love that. It actually makes me break out more. So this is like really, really fine. You leave it on for like two minutes. So usually I do this in the shower and I leave it on and I like shave my legs or I do my hair, but I'm just gonna leave that for two minutes and then wash it off and we're on to step three. A few minutes later. It's been two minutes. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. I was wondering why my cleansing routine like didn't feel right. I was like, is there something wrong with this? It's this was in the shower. Usually I do it in the shower. My Vanity Planet skin brush. I use this whether I have makeup on or not, but usually I do this and this gets right in my nose and my blackheads. So usually that's number one, but whatever. We skipped her today. Step three. I actually run my hands under the water again and I just pat it into my skin because the next products I put on, they absorb better into the skin when you have a damp face because it's all about hydration. So I just get a little bit damp. I do a combo right now of, as you guys can see, I'm almost out. This is the Esme Skincare Hyaluronic Acid. So I do a bit of that and then I mix it with my ASAP B Serum. Then I rub that together and I massage it into my skin and I actually do put this one under my eyes. When I use the vitamin B and hyaluronic together, it makes my skin feel a lot more plump and hydrated. Quickly, I'm gonna do Bohemian, but I'm gonna do some vitamin C serum to brighten up my skin. And then, and then, and then maybe I should use a little bit of this because we might go outside again. SPF 15, I'm gonna do a little bit of that. I don't know how I feel about this. I bought it in Byron. I'm just gonna mix it up. It's called In The Raw Inca Body Glow. And it's a body and face glow. It's literally just like this glowy shimmer stuff. If you put a little bit in the product you're using, just like the tiniest bit, I mean, sometimes it looks good, other times, <laughs> not so much. A dewiness. Oh my gosh, I don't think I talked about this on YouTube before. Okay, I know you're probably so overhearing me talk in the bathroom. I swear I'm nearly done, but I haven't even talked about it on YouTube. My new scent of Pity Party is out. This is Lychee Vanilla, and I wish smell vision was a thing. Smell it, smell it. It's like a vanilla cake. So that's the new one. This is the OG, this is coconut lime and it is my natural deodorant putty. I challenge you to go and look at the ingredients of your deodorant. 
and just Google it. That's all I'll say. So I get a little bit of the putty. I split it into two pea size amounts. This is the only deodorant that I own, the only one that I use. I use it in all my sweaty workouts and pretty much my whole Pilates class does because every time I go there, people go, smell me, I'm wearing pity party. I'm like, that's really nice, but I kind of don't want to smell you. I would show you, but I don't have a bra, but it's still a bit on my hands. It does dry transparent. I'm going to go get changed and then basically now it's just a waiting game for Fox to wake up and I think I'm going to make us a smoothie bowl. I don't know why I only make smoothie bowls on the weekend. I think because I'm so busy in the week. So the weekend, it's like a treat that I make us smoothie bowls. I don't think I'm going to get the consistency I want today because I don't have frozen bananas. I get such a better consistency when I have frozen bananas, but we'll see how we go. I also don't have any granola which is a bit of a bummer. But I'm like way too hungry and way too excited about a smoothie bowl to go up the street, buy granola and come back. So we'll just, we'll work with, <gasps> do you know what I should do? I'm gonna commit to the smoothie bowl and I'm going to make my own granola in like two seconds. I'm gonna set my oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Let's pray that I have something in my cupboard to work with. I've got currants, got cacao nibs, no, Brazil nuts, I don't really want that. Walnuts. Desiccated coconut. Really? Yes, this is gonna be so good. And some quick oats, like shredded up oats. I'm gonna make this the quickest homemade granola you've ever seen, and it's gonna be like around a single serve. Coconut oil, and melt that in the microwave. Yes, this gives me a good excuse to use my new mortar and pestle. We were looking for a sofa, and I found this, and I was like, um, I know this is for display, but can I buy it? A handful of walnuts, a handful of activated almonds, I'm gonna mash it up. Honestly, I'm not even gonna use measuring cups because ain't nobody got time for that. And I hate washing up things that I don't have to. I'll use literally my hands for everything. So if you wanna replicate this, you can use your hands. A handful, so it's been a handful of everything so far. A handful of quick oats. If you don't eat oats, you can also do quinoa flakes. A finger full of cacao nibs because they are quite bitter. Finger full of currants. Small little palm, like that, of coconut. This is totally optional, but I just, I love cinnamon on everything sweet. A Little bit of cinnamon. Salty sweet is the way to my heart. So pink salt, it already smells so good. I eyeball this, I'm gonna say maybe like two tablespoons of rice malt syrup, agave nectar, any kind of liquid sweetener. Oh, it smells so good. My future self is gonna thank me for this. Usually in my cooking project, this recipe would be for like a whole big batch. Like really, I never really go to the effort to do this for one serve or like one person. There's recipes like this in my cooking project, but it's, I don't know, it'll serve like 20. And then just flatten it out a little bit. And then this will be in the oven for around 10 minutes, depending on how hot the oven is. I doubt that it's preheated already because like we literally just put it on. I'm impatient, so let's just chuck that in the oven and then we'll just keep checking on it every five or so minutes. <gasps> Yum! We're gonna let that just cool down and get crunchy and then I'm gonna break it apart. Now, onto the smoothie bowl. Usually I like to use frozen banana. I feel like it just comes out so much thicker and creamier, but Today we can use ice and frozen blueberries. It'll be a little bit more icy than I like, but that's okay. Like a double handful of ice. I would say this is ah! more than anticipated, but a cup of blueberries. Half a banana, Boop. a dash of milk, coconut milk. <laughs> no, <he's laughs> He's having the best time. My source of protein to keep me fuller for longer, if I don't have protein and fat in my smoothie bowls and smoothies, I drink it and then I'm hungry like two seconds later. So I'm just gonna have my favorite protein, which is the lean vanilla protein from Tropeka. It doesn't come with a scooper, but I just always do like a heaped tablespoon. When I say heaped, I mean heaped. In Hawaii, I had the most amazing blue spirulina bowl, but you do need frozen bananas for that. So we're gonna go with the berry vibe. Acai powder, like half a tablespoon. And then, because everyone around me is getting sick, it's winter here, it's like flu season. This is one of my favorite sources of vitamin C. I utilize it heaps in winter. It doesn't taste good. So like, don't get it for the taste. You get it for the vitamin C benefits. A teaspoon of that.
actually blended really well. I didn't have to add any more coconut milk to it. Do you know what's annoying? As soon as Fox sees this, he's gonna wanna eat it. His favorite food is smoothies and smoothie bowls. We love smoothie bowls. So I already know I'm gonna have to half this. Damn it. Oh, this is good. This is a, oh wow. This is a really good consistency. I've been using the Nutribullet for so long, so maybe I do like the Vitamix better. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. How long until you can have fruit? Uh, I can have like half a banana probably starting next week. That's fun. Fun part. Really fun. My, my life's the best. <laughs> it will get better. It will get better. Uh, As if this isn't the most mesmerizing thing to watch on Instagram. I love it. It's time for the best bit. Our homemade granola. Yum. Might actually just leave a little bit to snack on tonight. It literally smells like Anzac cookies. And voila, like I was so close to buying a smoothie bowl, but I was like, no, I can make it from home. Number one, save money. Number two, I feel like I appreciate it more when like I've made it, but like, stay away. You stay away, you stay away. <laughs> All right, you can have a little bit. Let me just show it off first. Let me just show it off. I want some of that. Oh, I can't even eat it all. You want more? Okay. How about I make you your own little bowl? His face already. Every single time. Every single time, no exaggeration, that I make a smoothie or a smoothie bowl, like half of it goes to Fox and he, he can down them. He loves like, them. Mm. And in a few weeks, we can all have them together again. I doubt it. I think it's going to be longer in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. Is that you going, get away, this is my smoothie. It's so good. This granola is like cookies. It's like Anzac like cookies, Kurt. I'll have to make you this Yeah, great. One. Thanks for rubbing it in. Thank you.